let's talk about DNA tests. So here's the thing, I've made more than one video about this phenomenon, phenomenon in the United States in which people grew up thinking that they were part Native American. They were told by their own parents that, yeah, well, my great grandmother, she was half Cherokee. You can look at the pictures, you can look at this photo, you can even tell she has those traits of someone who would be Native American. So that means you're part Native American. That's a common thing in the United States for white people in the United States to be told. And it's this sense of wishful thinking. There's this unspoken guilt that in hindsight, in the year 2020, we know bad things happened to the Native Americans thanks to the Europeans. Pushed them all out of their own land. Tragic story. So obviously we want to feel less guilty about that. So if at least we're part of the Native American people, that's in our bloodline, at least we're not 100% of the problem, right? So that's why people, I say, the main reason people want to find out that there's something more exotic beyond just being 100% European. But it turns out most people who think that they're Native American are not. They're 0% Native American. That's what most people are finding. Now granted, I've made hundreds of videos about DNA tests on this channel. And that is a reoccurring thing. I've yet to find one person, one person who is, you look under there's another white person, they take the DNA test and find out that they're even 5%. It doesn't happen. It's wishful thinking. It's a way of taking away the guilt of what happened through our forefathers and the removal of the Native Americans. It, but here's what I would say. Do you want your DNA test to say that you're Native American? Here's how you do it. Just be Hispanic. That's right, if, you, if you're Hispanic, you will definitely show up as Native American. I get to find an exception to, to that rule. If your last name is Sanchez, and you're, you're here in the United States, and you grew up here in the United States, you're gonna show up as Native American. And of course, unless you were adopted in, you know, by a, a family who is, but we're not getting into that. What we're, what we're talking about is if you are Hispanic in the United States, take a DNA test. It's gonna show that you're Native American. That's how it works. Again, I know certain people wanna get into exceptions rule. Well, what if someone was from Dominican Republic and then they grew up in the United States and they were actually all African? That's getting a little too technical. You know what I'm saying. People who are Hispanic show up as Native American because that's what Native American people, their genetic mix is. It's a hybrid of Native American and European, typically. If we want to talk about Puerto Rico, then we've got a tri-racial place where it's African, Native American, European. But the thing is, white people really want to be Native American. They want to be at least part, and they're not. You have to be someone who is Hispanic to even expect that. Now, if you're Hispanic and end up taking the test and you're not any Native American, then that would actually raise a bigger question. Technically, are you Hispanic? Or do you just somehow have a Spanish name and somehow speak Spanish and grew up in a culture that yet your DNA was not at all? Because I would say to be Hispanic Seems like you'd have to have Native American DNA. I didn't mean for that to be the title of this video, but I think it just became the title of the video. In theory, to be Hispanic, isn't it imply that you therefore have Native American DNA, unlike white people in the United States who wish that they were but aren't? I think this is worth exploring right here in the comments.